Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, today's wine is uh, Carlem White Port. It's Port of Carlem White Under Dry. Um, now, um, I'm going to try it by itself and then I'm going to do what they do with it in Portugal because uh, if they drink it there, they drink it, uh, sometimes they will have it by itself, uh, sometimes they will have it as a long drink. So I'll do the long drink bit later, but I'm just going to try it on its own first. Weighing it at 19.5% alcohol. Oh, I'm just looking, having a look at that colour. Um, it, there are some white ports that are quite a bit more uh, orange in colour than that. That's uh, really quite pale for, for, for white port. So I'll try it by itself and uh, bear with. Well, there's this rich, uh, heady uh, hazelnut, um, nougat, bit of honey, um, and uh, not really fresh fruits. It's more those uh, preserved fruits, preserved, uh, crystallised pineapple, uh, a little bit of the, 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 the orange, and uh, yes, a, a touch of marzipan. Let's taste it. Yes, very similar flavours. Uh, you feel the um, the weight of the alcohol. It feels like there's quite a rich white, uh, rich wine there with sweetness despite it saying dry on the label. Uh, there are some strange regulations regarding what people can label dry. Um, I, I'm not sure what they are for port, but uh, I would not describe that as a dry wine. I'd describe it as something that I wouldn't mind having with a tart tatin if it was being a bit colder. But uh, I'm going to put a little bit more in my glass. Then I'm going to add a few things. So I have um, a couple of slices of, well, I'll stick a slice of grapefruit in there. Um, a hint of um, cordially celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday, elderflower cordial from um, uh, Beaver Farms, uh, most of which has been drunk, I think, by my children, but um, it's got add me on because the people who uh, sent me the port, they said, pour me, add me. There was also a grapefruit with it, but um, um, I didn't get around to drinking it, to eating it in time, and it went off a bit. So I've just poured a little bit of that in, and then uh, they also sent... Uh, Dr. Polydorus John Williams tonic water. Um, so I'm going to, where's my bottle opener here? Actually, it's my son's bottle opener. Let's open that and uh, come on, you little bottle. Have I got it the wrong way up? There we go. I'm going to add a, a oh, I don't know, maybe that much of that. And then finally, I've got some ice here. I'm going to put some ice in. And um, so you have it uh, as a long drink. Let's see what this is like. Very grapefruity, that's one of the things I smell. But it's also got that little swidge, uh, smid, smidgen of elderflower in there, so you're getting more of those hedgerow characters. Um, I have to say that in terms of the things that are left from the white port, it smells, it smells more, it's more of the, the, um, that little bit of bitterness from the tonic and, uh, and the, uh, uh, the citrusy edge of the grapefruit. Let's taste. It hasn't got the kick of a strong gin and tonic, but it's got that bitterness both from the uh, tonic and the little bit of um, a, a, a pithiness from the, from the grapefruit. Uh, I'm just going to try adding a little bit more of this because uh, I have to say that um, the potent element of the, uh, of the cocktail isn't coming through all that strongly. It's a very nice drink. It's probably one of those that's really dangerous. You sit there and go... Oh, it's not very strong, it's not very strong, and then you try to stand up and uh, it's not as easy as you expected. Yes, that works nicely. Because um, uh, you're, what you're getting is those richer, heady elements that were in the wine by itself, which were maybe a little bit too cloying by themselves, freshened up, given a little kick of pith and a, a kick of bitterness. Um, rather nice... Yeah, it's a lovely day here. I, I'm very tempted to uh, stop filming immediately, go out and swig this outside. But uh, uh, cheers, and thank you for Carlin for sending all these things. Uh, you'll see from the label of this tonic bottle that uh, it had a little accident on the way here. There were two bottles of tonic, and uh, one of them didn't quite make it, but um, everything else did. And uh, so I'm going to go and have to find some more of um, Dr. Polydorus's tonic, uh, buy myself a brand new pink grapefruit, and uh, sit and enjoy the summer sun. See you soon.